It's been an incredible year since the initial release of Foundry Virtual Tabletop as a new way to host, create, and enjoy tabletop role-playing games. In the release video posted this time last year, we celebrated our launch with support for 15 game systems and around 120 modules, and at that time I predicted that we were just getting started. I'm thrilled to say, despite the significant challenges we've all faced during the past year, we accomplished a tremendous amount with 20 software updates encompassing hundreds of new features, we saw similar growth of our community development with nearly 10 times the number of available game systems and modules, we expanded as a team, and we launched exciting partnerships with some of the premier publishers in the business. Over the past year we've accomplished so much and I'm proud to reintroduce the software as the most immersive way to experience your tabletop games. Our core principles have not changed, Foundry Virtual Tabletop is a self-hosted software built using modern web technologies, which is available as a one-time purchase without subscription tiers or feature gating. Foundry VTT provides a powerful and system-agnostic framework designed to be customizable, extensible, and developer-friendly, giving you powerful tools to help tell your stories and create memorable moments for your group. Gameplay in Foundry Virtual Tabletop starts with a scene. Whether it's theater of the mind augmented by thematic images or atmospheric video, or gritty tactical combat using battle maps with fog of war and dynamic line of sight, players interact with scenes and with each other by controlling a token on the map which represents their character. Each player experiences the scene from the perspective of that token with fog of war exploration, dynamic line of sight, environmental lighting, ambient audio, movement collision, and other systems that help put you immediately in character. The vision, fog, lighting, and audio systems rely on walls that you draw into the scene when you're preparing for your game session. Each wall can be configured to block or allow movement, vision, or sound individually. There are several pre-configured wall types for common use cases like basic walls, invisible walls which could represent windows or environmental barriers, or doors that can be hidden, locked, or opened by players during gameplay. There are also more sophisticated wall types like terrain walls which allow you to perceive an obstacle but not what lies beyond it, ethereal walls for creating illusory barriers, and one-way walls which block interactions in only one direction. Once walls are in place, Foundry Virtual Tabletop's advanced lighting system allows you to place light sources ranging from flickering torches or magical emanations to ghostly luminescent mist to create a huge range of immersive environmental lighting effects, which interact with the walls of the scene and the tokens that explore it. Each of these lights can be configured with a customized color or angle of emission that transforms a static map into a dramatic living scene. What you can see is only part of the experience, however, and each role-playing moment can be heightened with tastefully chosen audio. In Foundry Virtual Tabletop, you can create playlists or soundboards from audio files which are streamed to your players using a newly redesigned audio engine. You can also place environmental audio within your scene which interacts dynamically with the position of controlled tokens. Players will hear ambient effects once they enter their area, and those effects will grow louder as you move closer to the origin. As with light sources, ambient audio can be blocked or permitted to pass through nearby walls to achieve exactly the effect you want. You can further set the stage for your scene with weather effects and a darkness level that models day-night transitions. Light and sound sources can be configured to be only active at a certain time of day like a marketplace which is bustling during the day but fades into a dark and atmospheric courtyard at night. This lets you transform and reuse your scenes for a number of different circumstances, makes your world feel more authentic, and allows you to respond to your player's choices with a single click. Our most recently added feature is overhead tiles which brings an entirely new dimension to your game. Each scene has a foreground layer which allows you to create roofs, tree canopies, bridges, or environmental effects that tokens can pass beneath. These overhead tiles can fade away to reveal the area underneath them, and the roof system will block the presence of interior lighting while you're outside the building, but block the presence of weather effects while your token is inside. I'm pleased to say that this exact map was used in the release video for Foundry Virtual Tabletop one year ago. 
and with the addition since then of overhead tiles, light animations, and dynamic vision improvements, it's easy to see the dramatic change a year has made. Every game system handles combat differently, but Foundry Virtual Tabletop provides an underlying framework for tracking combat, including ordering of rounds, turns, attribute tracking, resource management, area of effect templates, robust dice mechanics, and much more. Players can see each other's movements and actions in real time within their token's line of sight, so they can constantly update their plan of attack while the Game Master keeps an eye on the scene as a whole and controls non-player characters. It's easy to perform attacks using weapons, spells, abilities, and more with system-specific options for rolling such as advantage, disadvantage, dice pools, exploding dice, custom modifiers, and way more. You can easily apply damage or healing directly to tokens to make resource tracking and management easy to handle. Abilities which have specific areas of effect are easily handled with measured templates which can have circular, rectangular, conical, or ray shapes that highlight their areas of effect and make it easy to determine which targets are impacted. Templates can even have textures applied which add even more immersion to combat. As the battle continues and your enemies and allies are affected by various temporary conditions, you can easily track those with active effects that record statuses, buffs, debuffs, or other conditions. These active effects can even modify the attributes of your character while they are enabled. Each game system has additional customized mechanics to make combat easier like polymorphing, encumbrance and inventory management, ammunition tracking, and limited resource consumption. These features are designed to make combat fluid and immersive to keep your focus on role-playing or planning your next tactical maneuver. Of course, creating or running a rich campaign involves much more than just combat encounters. That's why Foundry provides robust world-building and campaign management tools to help detail sprawling worlds and epic adventures using journal entries, rollable tables, and compendium packs so you can write, build, and play all in one place. Here, in the mystical continent of Lodos, we might have dozens of journal entries alone describing the various locations, historical events, social organizations, and major characters in the region, complete with images to spark one's imagination. As your players explore and learn about the world, that information can be shared with them at the click of a button. Changing the permissions of journal entries makes it easy to allow players to view and edit them, or to create their own notes from scratch so they can track their plans, chronicle their epic accomplishments, and recount meaningful character moments. Information this rich is only useful if it's easy to find. Journal entries, as with any document type like actors, scenes, items, playlists, and more, can be easily cross-referenced with a simple drag-and-drop workflow that creates links between documents. Journal entries specifically can be dropped onto a map in order to create pinned notes which can record key locations within the world. Each journal entry that has a pin on the map can pan directly to that location to help you and your players remember where everything is located. In situations where preparation isn't enough or you need a prompt to kickstart your imagination, the Rollable Tables feature can help. Rollable tables allow you to randomly draw from a collection of possible results, which can either be plain text or can link directly to any Foundry document. With a click, you can roll to determine the selected outcome and send it to chat. By configuring the table, you can control the likelihood of each result occurring, group multiple results to be drawn together, draw with or without replacement, or even create nested tables to create branching trees of possibility. In this example, we have a roll table that's made up of scenes, actors, and another roll table full of treasure. Each scene is grouped with different creatures that would make sense in that area, and when a result is drawn, they can be placed directly onto the scene to begin a combat encounter. If your players are successful, you can easily distribute the randomly selected treasure to their character sheets. At the end of the day, each individual GM can only create so much content themselves, and this is where our compendium system steps in to help. Compendium packs make it easy to have a universe worth of content at your fingertips, and a search is all you need to access things quickly. Game systems and modules can provide compendium packs of content that can be effortlessly imported into your world, or you can create your own compendium packs for long-term archival of your content, which you can even use to share that content across multiple game worlds.
If you prefer running pre-written adventures, I'm thrilled to share that since release we have added a number of official publishing partners offering premium content for game systems like Pathfinder, Savage Worlds, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, Alien, Forbidden Lands, Dungeon Crawl Classics, and more. We've also partnered with 31 incredible content creators like Chepeku, Tom Kartos, DM Dave, and many others to create content designed specifically for Foundry Virtual Tabletop, which you can install for free with your purchase of a software license. This amazing content includes hundreds of game-ready battle maps, each complete with walls, light sources, ambient sounds, and more. We also have beautiful token packs and memorable musical scores ready for you to use. This video has surveyed the surface of Foundry Virtual Tabletop's major features, but let's open the hood to take a look at the engine. All of these features are powered by our modern JavaScript API, which is built from the ground up to be developer-friendly and uses common web development best practices, programming languages, and tools. Building a game system or module for Foundry Virtual Tabletop uses the same transferable skills you would need to build a website, but I hope you agree it's way cooler. This framework is extended by game systems and modules which can either build upon or entirely replace each component of the software to produce an entirely customized experience. Even if you don't want to create entire software modules, any player can take advantage of this framework to write JavaScript macros which can perform incredible automated or scripted tasks to make running a game session far easier. You can share macros with your players to help them manage some of the more complex situations that arise during gameplay. The phenomenal developer community that has grown around Foundry Virtual Tabletop has already created over 900 modules that add incredible functionality like 3D dice rolling with customized dice skins and special effects, map importers designed for software like Dungeon Draft or Dungeon Fog, integrations with world-building services like World Anvil, Legend Keeper, or Kanka, and even comprehensive overhauls like an isometric module that transforms the perspective of the game canvas itself for isometric maps and tokens. This is just scratching the surface of the incredible tools and integrations that the developer community has created. Be sure to browse our module listing on the official website to be inspired by what you could create. I hope you've been excited by the overview of the software presented in this video. Foundry Virtual Tabletop is available for a one-time purchase of $50, which gets you the software you need to host a game server on your computer, in the cloud, or with a partnered hosting service provider. Only one member of your game group needs a software license to host the server. All other players can connect for free using a modern web browser. I would like to close by offering my sincere thanks to the entire Foundry community whether you've used the software since the Patreon days or just picked it up recently, over the past year I've been continually amazed by the positive and welcoming nature of the community in spite of the challenging circumstances that we've all faced. In response to these difficult times, you have created fantastic worlds to explore together. You've built powerful modules and game systems to enable storytelling. And most importantly, you've fostered a welcoming and inclusive community that is a pleasure to participate in. I'm so personally grateful for your continued support, your positive word of mouth, and for helping to create such a wonderful community. If you're considering purchasing the software, we are eager to welcome you into the fold and help you learn how Foundry Virtual Tabletop can bring a new dimension to your role-playing games. I hope to see all of you in a virtual world very soon, but in the meantime, cheers and happy gaming.